Hello everyone! So I'm going to attempt to vlog and I guess I'll see how this works out or if it doesn't work out or if people like these types of videos. I have no idea but I think it'd be interesting and fun to kind of take you around to what I do in a week's worth of time I guess is what I'll do. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this. So if you don't know I do work at a veterinary clinic as an assistant and I am going to school working to get my um, like veterinary nursing license, veterinary technician license. I think it'd be fun to kind of go behind the scenes and see what it's like at a vet clinic. I absolutely love my job. I love my patients. I love building the relationship with my clients and knowing that they trust me with their babies because they are their babies. My dog and my cat are my babies so I completely understand when people's animals are their children so because so are mine. I love the clinic that I work at and the people that I work with. We're a really good group of people and I would trust anyone that I work with with my animals which says a lot because I am very very picky with who I trust my animals with which is probably really sad but I do I mean I want to know that my babies are going to be taken care of and I do have that trust in my co-workers anyways so we'll see how these vlogs work out good morning <laughs> Five thirty in the morning. So this is about the time that I get up every day for work. So I'm just gonna make myself look presentable and go to work. Sunrise, sunrise. Looks like morning in your eyes, but the clock's held nine fifty. Okay, so this is basically what I look like every day when I go to work. <laughs> you ready to go to work? You gonna go to work? You gonna go to work? <gasps> okay, let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I've been calling out the freaking machine going. So I just set up this area for our dental cleanings that we have today. We have two. I got our anesthesia machine, our fluid pump, the actual dental machine that we're going to use to scale and polish the dog's teeth. We have a monitor and then also our x-ray laptop that I set up. This is Star. She's here to be spayed today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I did weigh her and she was 10.8 pounds. I'm going to give her this, which is a serenia. It's going to help with nausea from the anesthesia and the sedation. Just so when she goes home, she'll have an appetite and her stomach will be hurting her. What? You want a treat? What's this? So this is just lidocaine, which is a topical anesthetic. I'm just going to apply this to her arm so she won't feel me put her catheter in. And it works. I got it on my tongue. My whole mouth is numb. Surgery, the Dr. Stone is going to come and examine her. Let's see how we do. So, I'm intubating my patient so I can begin to clean his teeth, do his radiographs, and his oral exam. 
Professional dental cleanings remove not only visible plaque and tartar on the teeth surface, but it also does get the bacteria from underneath the gums that cause gingivitis. This eliminates the potential sources of infection to the mouth and to the other organs like the liver, the kidneys, and their heart to protect your pets from pain and tooth loss. So once all the tartar is removed from the teeth, the mouth is rinsed and all tooth surfaces are polished. If the teeth are not polished, small etchings left on the teeth from the cleaning can attract more plaque and tartar to adhere to the small grooves left on their teeth. So the final step of a dental cleaning is I'm going to take that little probe and I'm going to probe the surface and underneath each and every single tooth. So what I'm looking for are things like periodontal pockets, fractures, um, furcations, root exposure, anything abnormal that I need to let my veterinarian know about so she can come examine. And just like people, I keep a chart of every single patient I have ever cleaned their teeth on. Um, if they're missing teeth, if I found anything abnormal, if their teeth are discolored, if they're stained, anything and everything is documented. So on all of my patients, we do full mouth radiographs. This just lets me see below the gum line. Um, I'm looking for any things like fractures or abscesses or bone loss. Anything that is abnormal is what I'm looking for. Okay, so after his dental cleaning, he is gonna go down here for recovery and I'm gonna sit with him until he is completely awake. So Winston here is actually 11 years old and he just got his dental cleaning, he is awake, he's doing fine. And I'm actually about to call his parents and let him know that he did just fine. Um, a lot of pet parents often worry that their dogs are too old for anesthesia, which is a huge misconception, not the case at all. Anesthesia is actually really safe. So if there are gonna be any complications, it's usually usually after the anesthesia and when they're recovering when we're gonna see an issue. About 0.2% of dogs have issues under anesthesia, meaning that 99.8% of them will survive anesthesia regardless of their age. Look at the fluffy, 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 fluffy. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's two little Tootsie Rolls. Don't mash it, we gotta get it out. <laughs> <laughs> Any kid worth their salt knows how to ride a bike. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Today was a good day. I'm just really, I'm really tired, honestly. Um, we had a really busy day, so I'm probably gonna eat this Chick fil A and watch some Netflix and probably go to bed. And then I'll pick up vlogging tomorrow. Good morning! <laughs> it is currently 8 o'clock on Thursday. Uh, this morning our scheduler looks like we just have a bunch of vaccine appointments, a couple sick appointments, so yeah, happy Thursday. <laughs> currently six o'clock in the evening. I just got off work and I picked me up some food, which was Chick-fil-A. Cause I do not want to cook tonight. I don't, I am so tired today. I'm at my house, but I just haven't gone inside yet. Cause I don't feel like getting out of my car. Does anyone else have those days? Like I just picked up my dinner, but I think I'm gonna sit and like eat it in my car before I go inside, which I actually do a lot. My visor, you know what this is called, is like broken and dangles down. It makes this terrible noise. But today was really busy. I saw a lot of 
puppy. So we saw so many puppies today for their puppy vaccines, which is always fun. I'm probably gonna go inside and do some homework. I'm gonna show you the amount of eyebrow that I do not have. So this is the before. These are all the face masks that I own. I got some new ones in here. Huh, I love this thing. You put it on your feet and then a couple days later all your dead skin, you get to peel it off. <sighs> but I'm gonna do a face mask because my skin definitely needs it. I look crazy. So I ended up choosing this Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask just because my chin is breaking out and then a couple spots on my forehead. So this really seems to clear up my breakouts. So I slathered my face with it. I'm going to leave this mask on for about 10 minutes, wash it off, and then go to bed. Good morning! It is Friday, and I am running late to work. So I'm gonna be putting my mascara on in the car. Just like fire, turning up the way. So that is it for my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just getting ready for bed. Yes, on a Friday night, I'm going to watch some Netflix and go to bed because I had a long day, but I will be celebrating my weekend tomorrow. So if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.